Morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of trading session, the Monday, the 16th of January 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and uh, also visit TradeSignal. Uh, signals and market updates from leading providers from www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the market numbers, a uh, very strange day for the FTSE 100. There was a tweet out earlier on today indicating that this is the first occasion, if I can recollect correctly, if I bring up the stats here, um, apparently according to Sophia Horta, uh, Acosta, basically uh, ever since the, um, I can't ever, I don't think it's uh, uh, going back almost uh, since the 23rd of December, we've still, we've not had a, a negative day, so um, a surprise, surprise. 26, 27, obviously we were off, 28, 29, 30, almost every single day, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.08. And this is probably the first day prior to the inflation data out tomorrow and obviously um, the uh, uncertainty with regards to Theresa May's Brexit speech, okay. Not only that, Mr Carney was also speaking today as well and uh, his speech certainly seems to have been interpreted in the way in which I interpreted it as well. Uh, certainly hawkish and uh, certainly highlighting the concerns of uh, obviously stronger inflation down the road which obviously means uh, less tapering less QE and obviously uh, uh, interest rate hikes if anything okay so certainly looking for a potential bottom in the uh, in the actual uh, price of um, uh, cable uh, has held above 1.20 has not dipped below 1.20 so therefore uh, uh, given the inverse relationship between the sterling or price of sterling and the price of the FTSE 100 index, it certainly looks like the FTSE is going to move lower, especially given the fact that this is the first day or first negative day since what we're on today, the 16th now, almost a month, almost a month, okay? So again, uh, interesting, okay? Interesting to say the least. Now, the rest of Europe, uh, in terms of uh, finishing stats, DAX down 25 points in the back of Italian bank concerns and obviously a stronger euro, CAC down 40 points, the IBEX and stocks uh, 600 as well down down okay so again this is certainly looking for weakness here okay so certainly looking for weakness in uh, european equities now in terms of economic data around from europe nothing really major other than the uh, european trade balance that came in uh, uh, slightly on the weaker side uh, slightly on the weaker side but more or less flat and again it was all about mr carney's speech again which i'm interpreted as being uh, hawkish now let's see where the markets are set up to go okay in terms of the german dax i've already highlighted that you have this hns formation on the German DAX looking to flush lower okay on the German DAX the daily chart uh, certainly looking like it's stalled no real bull flag for uh, follow through at all 10 minute chart you do have two unfilled gaps above though okay so again bear bear that in mind 11.630 and uh, 11.650 two potential gaps to fill above and then obviously you've got the unfilled gap below 11.520 so bear that in mind in terms of the next potential move in terms of the French CAC, uh, again, the French CAC certainly has held that key resistance at 4920. You have an unfilled gap below. And above the daily chart, from my perspective, certainly is stalled. Certainly a double top coming in there at 4930. And the 10 minute chart, again, like I said, stuck between two gaps. So which one do we close first? Okay. Given the fact that the Chinese markets were down almost 2% on the Shanghai and 6% on the Shenzhen overnight before recovering. Certainly is a warning sign, especially given the fact that uh, the Nikkei was down as well. And therefore, you are looking at a potential risk of trade. Okay, especially given the fact that emerging markets are into resistance, global indexes now are into double top. Everything, from my perspective, certainly is indicating lower. Also, you had Saudis as well saying that uh, they would only pause for six months and after that, they'd have to reassess the whole situation. Again, that's certainly, given the fact that we've already factored in, the potential cut above $50 if they stop and uh, no longer cut uh, and not extend the actual oil production deal, then we're back to square one. Okay, so just bear that in mind. In terms of FTSE 100, my emphasis and with subscribers and the live analysis service, I mean, it's a good day today, plus 50 odd points on the uh, on the live analysis service. Now, uh, the FTSE certainly has this HS formation with a target of 7295, so I'm looking for a lower price down to 7 sub 7300. Potentially even lower, we could even test at 7275. So, from my understanding, my perspective certainly bearish on the 60 minute chart. The FTSE certainly has broken out. You have this bear flag formation now, so we could certainly move as low as 7280 down to 7260. So, that certainly is a possibility, especially 
with the Carney's hawkish stance. Okay, that's my interpretation. In terms of the daily chart of the FTSE 100, given the fact that it's the first real negative day, okay, you have the unfilled gap at 7120. Again, always that's uh, an unfilled gap below. Always remains a target. If we can break out of this bullish channel that we've been through, been in for quite some time, it certainly uh, is uh, is expected to happen. Okay, so again, uh, just be flexible. Okay, folks, I think that's a good summation, really, of uh, the uh, the actual uh, equity market at present. Uh, my understanding, my interpretation, really, going into the uh, uncertainty regarding Brexit tomorrow, Miss Miss May's speech. So much uncertainty. Certainly, looking for uh, really a positive. Uh, positive, not well, not a positive, but certainly a negative for the FTSE 100. Uh, the rest of Europe at uh, present, we have the euro still hovering around the 1.06 level. It'll be interesting to see how the European equities react to the uh, the FTSE itself. You have ZEW tomorrow. You have uh, uh, GDP, well, sorry, uh, inflation data out of the UK tomorrow. Okay, so again, they are the real, real two fundamental catalysts that will uh, dictate the market moves. Okay, so be sure to visit cfds.com and uh, certainly visit TradeSignal for the uh, latest uh, market updates and signals. Goodbye now.